back. Here's your tardy. We covered for you, Brad. We told Mrs. Parks you had a good vision for being like. So what's that sweet as your reason, Bradley? I was opening presents. My grandma just got to town. Oh yeah, grandma's always bringing the best presents. Well, she told me she brought me something I've been waiting for all year. But I have to wait till I get home to find out. So can we hurry this up? I got more important things to do. <laughs> That's the Christmas. Waiting a long time for a great gift? Sounds like a story we're trying to tell here. Why can't we just go to the next part while we're waiting for Mrs. P to come back? That's a great idea, Alice. Come on, everybody. You can be out here in no time. And there are shepherds coming out in the fields, giving watch of their flocks at night, and the Lord appears to them, and the Lord will watch around them. Oh, they're terrified for the woman! I was just trying to speed things up a little. We've been working on this a long time. We should have rushed through just for you to go home and open up the present. Abigail is ready. It's okay to get excited about a gift, but, but we spent a lot of time writing the script. It's about the most important gift anyone will ever get for Christmas. Yeah, remember? The read before the season? Sorry. And there were shepherds living out in the fields keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified, but the angel said to them, Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. This will be your sign. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth lying in a manger.
All the heads explode with praises. Angelic fires fill up the dark night and hope lit up the sky. Thousands and thousands of angels were singing, this, singing the glory of the newborn king. The angel's song was a Christmas card announcing God had sent his very best. Another message was good news for all people. There was a grand new song heard in the heavens that night, rejoicing as God sent his gift of salvation to the whole world. The angel's message came to a lonely shepherd who had no wits and precision. They were poor. They were outcasts. They were definitely the bottom of the food chain. <laughs> <laughs>
Shepherds didn't have far to go to meet the newborn king, but there were others who came later. They had traveled a long way to find their Messiah. These men were wealthy scholars called Magi. They had read the prophecies and they knew from the sky they had been born. They had waited a long time for this baby. They had knew that he was the king of all kings. The Magi came in a mighty caravan with hundreds, maybe thousands of soldiers and servants. They brought valuable gold, frankincense, and myrrh together. They entered the small house ready to offer their, 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 their treasures. But in that moment, in his presence, all they could do was fall down and worship and offer their heart. The matter returned to their, to their homes different than the, the way they had come. Just like the shepherds, they met Jesus and it would never be the same again. You might wait a long time for a gift, but then it's not the right color, or it doesn't fit, or maybe, maybe it even it's not what you want. But our Father always knows what is best. God's gift to us isn't a gift you can see with your eyes. Jeremiah 29, 13 says, If you seek him, you will find him when you will find him when you seek him with all your heart. <clears throat> long ago, God God sent the most precious gift he could give through his son. He gave a promise on that night he was born, and he kept that promise at the cross. Jesus is God's word, word that he will never leave us. He is always with us. He is our Emmanuel. Long before the birth of Christ, God spoke through the prophet Isaiah and said the virgin will be, will be with the child who will give birth to his son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us.
everything, Mrs. P. I mean, Miss Sparks. We just got one more song. I'm sorry, Mrs. P. I was kind of in a hurry to get it. I've heard that you were in a hurry to open gifts. I guess I was, but I realize now that I just forgot about the best gift of Christmas, the one I can't see. I was looking at the shiny bows and fancy ribbons and forgot to open my heart. Today helped me remember. Well, we all love Christmas presents, and we all make Christmas lists. Jesus has a Christmas list, too, and you're on it. Isaiah 49, 16 says, Your name is written in the palm of his hand before the beginning of time. He loves each one of you. The best gift you can give him for Christmas is to live your life for him. Are we ready? Yeah! Let's sing our final song! Lord, we love telling the story of how you sent Jesus to us. And every time we tell it, you remind us what this what the season is all about. This Christmas, we want to be like angels and sing their praise. We want to be like shepherds and share the good news of your of the birth of your son. Who would be like wise men, seeking your arms? 